I can't believe that this one sick, drunken woman, Nancy Pelosi, is overthrowing this government with a lot of her little helpers. She's overthrowing the government. That's what she's doing. Overthrowing this government. That's what she's doing. She is usurping the presidency, overthrowing the government, and those who are helping her and aiding and abetting and assisting her in doing it have their little secrets to keep. And they want things to run their way in their disgusting criminal drug fiend friggin' baby kidnapping world. This is disgusting. It is really satanic. She's not going to get away with it. She thinks she is. Trust me, she won't. Statute of limitations on these crimes, just because the president uh, right now is being overthrown doesn't mean that there's no remedy. Okay? There's always remedy. However, he wants to remedy it afterward if they succeed. Hopefully they don't succeed. There's a few days left that he can make some moves, and I'm hoping he does that. That's all I got to say. This cannot be done to this country, and I want to tell you something. See, after the satanic people, the lesions of demons, get their way, they tend to gnaw at each other. So all those people that are fooled and going along with everything and have no idea about this case where they try to rip babies out of my womb and I'm a United States soldier and the deep state did that and impregnated me. Okay, they and tried to hide the babies to make it look like I wasn't pregnant, so that I'm not pregnant so that they could hinder my testimony and open federal tort came, claim I submitted to the Department of Defense because of the years of kidnappings done to me and attempts of sex trafficking me. Oh yeah, they've kept me in slavery for quite a while. They have. They have enslaved President Trump. That's what they're doing to him. Apparently, he's got no civil rights, right? Apparently, they think they can do anything they want to him. They've enslaved him. False charges under color of law. Slavery. Violation of 14th Amendment. He's not even allowed to be heard. Slavery. Slavery. Violations of human rights. There are no statute of limitations. And they forget that. Just like they might. See, when perpetrators do these evil crimes, the deep state and the Dems and the rhinos, whatever the hell is involved, just evil people doing it, the lesions of demons, they really forget that there are no statute of limitations for these things. There, are, there aren't. I don't know what the fuck they think they're doing. They are so lost in their sickness. They do. They get lost in their sickness. You should have seen one of the kidnappers that was kidnapping me. She's like, oh, just like the Twilight Zone. And I used to be an actress, so I'm going to act how she was. You would have thought you're watching a scary fucking Twilight Zone. She was like, oh, we're trying to help you. It was so, Dr. Tob, she was so sick in her head. And I imitated her and mirrored her. I said, oh, thank you. And she really thought that I meant that because her, her psyche was so sick inside of this satanic being possessed that she became that she thought somebody mirroring her was normal. It's disgusting. I'm a psychology major as well. And really, when you get down to it, psychology really has nothing to, much to do with this. This is all about spirituality and evil versus good. This has nothing really to do with psychology. Yes, you want to study psychology. And I prepared myself and I studied for a couple of years before knowing that they were building to this point. Why? Because in 2010, I studied um, the hidden evil section. And I also it was www.torturedinamerica.org. There's a man that wrote that. In 2010, I became familiar with how the organized stalkers and government deep state work. I put in some keywords and it came up with this article because I, I couldn't describe what was happening to me. There was no way to describe the massive third party stalking and hunting me to try to sex traffic and try to murder me and try all kinds of things on me and try to breed me and put me into a life. And I don't like drugs. I've never done a drug. So they were... They're upset because I don't want drugs, so they would try to drug me, and oh my God, framings and attempts of framings, and oh my God, falsifications. Of, there's falsifications of records right in the freaking Broward County Courthouse right now. All those fake evictions and cases, there's some of them that say status active, even from 1995. They put that on there right away now so that they can snatch and then make something else look like it. You know, look like it's real. I'm not joking. These people are sick in their head. There's no other word for them but sick demonic demons. 
So the demon zombies have taken over, the MK Ultra demon zombie sickos have taken over and they're trying to take over really, really rapidly. They're uh, overthrowing this government. Sicko Nancy Pelosi overthrowing this government. Drunken stupor on camera. Let's pull up those films where she couldn't even sit up straight and she couldn't even talk. She wants to say my commander in chief is not fit. <laughs> That's a good one. That's really fucking funny. She might be projecting just a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. Gotta go. Letting you all know. Uh, statute of limitations are forever on what's being done to my commander-in-chief because it's slavery. Let's see what God does. Bye.